Mike Shack, one two one two. Hello, anybody out there? Welcome, welcome, everybody. 
It is me, Twilight Prince 1002, and it has been a fair while since I streamed, admittedly. I also see that my new little stream labs is working. Welcome, Void Nathan, to my follower to my followers, and glad you could make it. So, uh Yeah. It has definitely been a little while since I streamed anything, at least like, you know, extensively streamed anything, but I wanna actually make a bit of a change for that for 2024, and I kind of wanted to uh, get things going. And, yeah, uh, welcome aboard, Nathan. Yep, it's interesting to see where you where you lie on this game. Uh, yeah, like, okay, so allow me just a very brief little background, first and foremost, before I get started. Um, this was actually a game from my childhood. Well, I say childhood, and I say that, but it was more along the lines of... I want to say, like, my early, mid-teens kind of deal, sort of deal. Here, uh, allow me to explain. Oh, hi, Crashy. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> Somewhat long ago, back in the early 2000s... Get the man some musics? You know what? Uh, hold on a moment. I will get some music here. Let me just... I got some. I got something here. Perfect. Oh, apparently, actually, Ian got me something, so let me. Oh, yeah, I will. I will definitely use that I will definitely use that later Ian, most certainly. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, thank you, thank you, Crashy. I will just quickly hydrate before I get started here. <clears throat> anyway. So before we begin, allow me a brief time of preface and prelude for what is to come. Somewhat long ago, back in the early 2000s, the handhelds of choice at the time were none other than the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. And it was also during that time that the craze known as Pokemon was skyrocketing into popularity. The year is 2001, and at this time, Pokemon Gold and Silver are still very popular, and the coming Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in the following year would continue that trend. During the early times of Pokemon's popularity, there were several games that tried to copy or do better than it. One I exclusively remember was one called Robopon, a game where you actually collected robots instead of amazing creatures. But this game isn't about that. Around September of 2001, it was this time I learned of another Pokemon-esque game, and one that did surprisingly well despite being in Pokemon Shadow. Combining Pokemon's collection and battling elements with characters and a turn-based battle system that pretty much started the entire JRPG into success, was Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Much like its Pokemon cousins, it was split into two versions, Kobe's Journey, and the one I will be playing, Terra's Adventure. Both had the same story, many of the same characters, and all the same 312 monsters you could fight, recruit, and combine. As time passed on, Pokemon still kept top contender for its specific genre. But, unfortunately, and this is just my stance on it, I feel that it's missing a lot of what made it into the video game juggernaut it once was. Heck, the last mainstream Pokemon game I've been playing, and still kinda am on the side, was Pokemon Legends Arceus. And it's kinda been a downhill spiral from there for Game Freak in my opinion. However, once again in the shadows, the Dragon Quest Monster series has done an ample job of keeping to their formula, introducing a few new things, but not going completely overboard with it. But most important to me of all, was that despite I loved my gold version way back when, I played Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 far, far more. So much, unfortunately, to the point that I nearly had a 100% complete monster catalog. If it wasn't for the fact that my game's internal battery died and I lost everything. Yeah, that was a pretty sad point. To me, Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 is a staple of the creature collection genre of video games. And one that, whether you're a Dragon Quest fan or not, should you be interested in such types of games, it's definitely worth a try. 
The game offers tons of customization and a fun and lighthearted story and a nearly endless post game that pretty much stops when you want it to. That's a lot to say for a simple little Game Boy cartridge, huh? So, with my little introduction done, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy my playthrough of Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, Terra's Adventure. Let's cut the music, and let's get started. Let me just load her on up here. And a one, a two, and a three. There we go. Keep in mind, this was the Game Boy Color, so some of the uh, sounds might be a little bit, uh, bit crushed. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started with this. We are going to start up a brand new game. I did do a... I apparently had a file left over from, like, way back when, but we're going to start brand new and fresh with this. So, since we're playing the Terra edition, we will be playing as the female character, Terra. And that is the name we're going to stick with. You know, just for consistency's sake. Terra is correct. <clears throat> In the middle of the sea, in the south, floats the island of Great Log. To, the, to this eternally warm and natural setting, a family of monster farmers was headed to start a new life. By the way, how's the, uh, how's the sound and everything coming out? Everything looking okay? Just uh, wanted a quick little test that out here. I hope everything sounds alright. Sounds good? Cool. There we are. Tara! Papa's calling. This is this is Tara's older brother, Kobe, by the way. If you were playing the Kobe version, he would be the one you're playing as. He's at the stern. Hustle, hustle. You folks run a monster farm? We've never had monsters on our ship before this. It's amazing. There's a spirit in Great Log that's famous for getting into mischief. It's named Waru something. Freshly caught fish were inside. Our sailing is sure exhilarating, right? Yeah, it is. Ah, good. That's good to hear. You have got potential. Great Log's king asked us to settle in the kingdom and run our farm. He recognizes our worth. <laughs> this will be our new life. You're growing up, so you can't be a little baby anymore. Do we have an understanding? Good. Play with your brother, Kobe, will you? This must be our mother. Worried about your monsters? Don't be. They're being quiet. Fun little fact. I actually did contemplate actually trying out the 3DS remake of this game. But I wanted to keep with the original. Terra, they said Greatlog will be in sight soon. And oh, there's Greatlog! There it is. Home sweet home.
This is a tale of children who came to the kingdom of Great Log. Listen, you two. Quit your horses around and go help your mother. Do you hear me? Yeah, I kind of wish that the uh, 3DS edition did get localized here, although it has been fan-translated from what I can tell. So take a, take a quick little look around. Hey, this hay is pretty good. Maybe I can use this. So this is our monster farm. As you can see, we already got a couple monsters just lying around. There aren't many friends here. It's lonely for an ant like me. I accidentally went outside. People give me the eye. Whoopsie! <laughs> Yo, did you enjoy the voyage? The name's Slash. Glad to know ya. I guard the farm here. You can consider me the boss. If you need any advice, I'm here. Alright, let's go help our mother. Actually, quick little thing here. Swallow the dry hay. Yeah, always uh, check like jars and barrels and such in this game. Clay water. Wouldn't hurt to t look around. You've come at the right time. Grandma sent her a homemade nut pie for us to enjoy at our new homestead. I'm too busy to go get it right now, so can the two of you go instead? Sure, Mama. We'll be fine. Good. That's settled, then. The vault is west of the farm. Don't dawdle and be careful. I've heard that there are monster masters in this kingdom. Have I told you about them? Uh... For the sake of consistency, we'll say no. Monster masters are those people who tame and train monsters. They commune with them, and the monsters grow. Haha! <laughs> Terra won't last a day. Uh, I aspired to be one long ago. <clears throat> Go help your mother now. Hey, don't insult me, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the newcomers. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Come on, Wataraboo. Who are those two, you might ask? We'll learn in a minute. <laughs> Hello there. You must be the farm kids. The vault is west and a bit north. <laughs> oh, it's all spinning around. That rotten little prince and that elemental sidekick of his. You doing okay? The horrid prince and that elemental sidekick of his. King is too lenient on Prince Kamea, his only son. That's why we can't complain about all the trouble he causes. Yeah, Prince Kamea. Sound, uh, sound familiar? <laughs> there were many wild monsters in this world in the past. The elemental spirits decided to send the monsters to other worlds until they were sure what the humans could live safely with monsters. Scram! Hands off my merchandise! He is the art. Yep, Akira Toriyama is indeed the art designer. Ah, that weird ape thing is called Warubu. Greylog's elemental spirit. It's always up to mischief with Prince Kamea. What a pair. This palm tree is Greylog. We bored out the inside of this enormous tree and made it our home. You're the kids from the new farm. I'm a monster master myself. I'll have to use your farm soon. And here's our vault. You must be the farm kids. Your grandma sent a package for you. It smells really delicious. Here you go. Be careful with it. And look who it is. I'm Prince Kamea of Great Log. You may not pass peasants. I'm Warubu, Great Log Spirit. Waru hey! We live inside here. I'm keeping my eyes out for Prince Kamea and his sidekick. 
Greylog's major facilities are situated above here. There's no place for kids. Shoot. And look who's here. Ha ha ha! No going by me. All right, how about you? What? I smell something. I smell something tasty. Ow! Hey! What is this? Food? Perfect! I was hungry, way. Hey, give me that back! Give me, give me, give me, start, give me, you stupid little greedy elemental! Give me here! Come on! Give me, give me that! Give me that! Uh-oh. Oh my! The well isn't safe! Don't be like Warubu! He says a vine. Hey, I'm starving! Give me it! You just ate! You grubby little elemental! Well, hey, some prince! Dirty mouth, come on, Waru! That's ours! Give it back! Uh oh. Well, 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 hey! The log's navel is breached, Waru! Uh, it. It, it, it's, it's not my fault! Well, hey, it's the only way! Up you! <coughs> Waru! Waru, hold! You two, come here now, Waru! Get the pie. Calm down and listen. What came out of the hole now? That was the life force of Great Log's tree. Great Log is an island kept afloat by the palm tree, do you see? If the palm tree dies, the island sinks into the deep, deep ocean. A plug! That is what we need. A plug to plug the log's navel. Hurry, go fetch a monster master. Okay. So, this next part's a little bit, a little bit on the tedious side, but we need to talk to everybody. Oh, you kids. You shouldn't be in the well. What? The log's navel is broken? But why is that important? This island is sinking? If that's true, it's a disaster. But I haven't heard anything about it. The island isn't sinking. If you lie, your nose will grow. Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny, I get the reference. Keep in mind, this was also uh, slightly before uh, Dragon Quest went completely punny on it on everything, so... Don't expect too much of that. There might still be some, but... Huh? The island is gonna sink. Are you in Prince Kamea's gang? Huh? The island's gonna sink? You shouldn't lie like that, Tara. Why won't you believe us, stubborn old goat? Look, an island just doesn't sink. Listen to yourself for a moment. Anyway, did you run Mom's errand? Yes, we did. We're gonna sink? I can't swim! What should I do? This island is gonna sink? I... The tide seems to be higher. The island's gonna sink? That's a genuine crisis. I'm right here if you need any help. What a heroic little slime. Did you get the package from Grandma? Here you go. Oh goodness, you're filthy. What happened to you two? <laughs> you were tricked by that silly Warubu. Don't worry, the island won't sink that easily. Alright, well... well... Nobody on the farm is believing us, so let's go talk to some other people. Hopefully, maybe they'll listen. You're after a Monster Master? I saw one lolling around the vault. Down's gonna sink? Don't spread silly rumors like that. What if it scares off customers? The island is sinking? <laughs> no worries, we can all escape to another world. Wait a sec, how will we get there? The island's sinking? That's hard to believe, but... You don't look like a liar. I was gonna open a shop here, but... I guess I'll hit the road. Smart man. The island's gonna sink? I know, you were fooled by Rorubu. Last time he was yelling about the great king of terror from the sky. Hmm? Waru 
Warubu wants you to find a Monster Master for him? Well, I am one, but I don't want to have anything to do with Warubu. Sorry, but can you try someone else? Jeez. You say the island will sink? Sorry, but I can't believe that. <sighs> There's only a few people left. The island is sinking? Prince Kamea put you up to this. Looking for a Monster Master? I have no time for child's play. <sighs> Typical adults don't listen to kids. Sheesh. Alright, well, we talked with everybody. Uh, Warubu, I got some news. Well, hey, good, you're back. You told everyone Great Log will sink? So, where's the Monster Master? What? Nobody believed you? Waru, they are so complacent. Tell me about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hey, it can't be helped now. You go instead. No other way. Huh? No time to waste, Waru. If you don't go, Great Log goes to the bottom of the sea soon enough. You will go find a new plug for the Log's Nemo, hey? Well, I guess we've got no other choice. Well, hey, good, good, good. In you, I saw the potential, Waru. A good idea I have for plucking up the Log's Nemo. Yes, I do, Waru. I'm an elemental, so I know such. Here, take this. Here, take this, you, Waru. This here is a magic key. It opens the door to other worlds. Especially me. And it is, by elemental power, making it magic, Waru. Used to open the magic door ahead. It takes you to another world. Another world it might be, Waru, but it is not much different. Only difference is monsters. Monsters live in other worlds, but a monster master needs to fear not a thing, Waru. I see you have great potential. You go to other worlds and bring back a plug for the log's navel. That's something? I don't know what. But you will know when you find it. Now, Waru, take this. We received the Oasis key. The first world we go to. Well, hey, I trust you. Go. Well, hey, forgot something. <coughs> <coughs> this used to come back to Great Log from other worlds. And that... That enables us to get home. Alright. Give me two quick seconds. I'm actually going to go and uh, rehydrate my voice after that. Because talking like this constantly is a bit of a pain in the butt, Waru. So, excuse me, just two moments. Okay, that's definitely a bit better. Hopefully I won't have to talk as Warubu for too much longer now. Dangerous are other worlds. So you take monsters, Waru. Well, hey, I'm Great Log Spirit, one with the island I am. If you can't stop the island from sinking, so ends my life, Waru. Not just me, but everyone here. So you must, must fight a plug. <sighs> this is bad. What do we do? Let's go home and talk about it. If we don't find a plug for the Log's Navel, the island sinks. Our house and the farm, too. We have to go look ourselves, right? But if we both go to other worlds, Mama will be worried. Hey, why the long faces? I couldn't help overhearing you. I'll go with you to other worlds. That way, one of you can stay here. That solves our little problem. That's true. Hmm, what to do? Huh? Tara, do you want to go? Well, yeah. Fine, but Tara, by yourself? 
Don't worry, I'm writing a log. And Terra has potential, I think, to be a monster master. We'll need the help of monsters when we go to other worlds, so that potential will help a lot. Fine, Terra, it's up to you. You do your best and save us. That's settled then. We'll leave tomorrow morning. Get plenty of rest tonight. Are you going out to play? Be careful you don't get hurt. And we receive an herb from Mom. Terra, while you're gone, I'll stay here and tend to the monsters. If you catch any, I'll take I'll care for them. Why do you have a monster in tow? Are you going to become a master? If you are, or if you're going to inherit this farm, the key is to be friendly with monsters. To break the ice, feed them meat. That will make them less wary. And we receive a pork chop. Yeah, sure, let's know how the farm works real quick. Including the monsters with you, the farm can hold up to ten. It's not much to start, but the farm will hold more as it grows. Monsters at the farm earn some experience as you battle. But if you leave them in the farm, they will grow without learning skills, and they turn disobedient. So, you should take a different monsters out to train them. Alright, and that, in turn, I believe that begins our quest in earnest. But first things first, we need to actually... Go to the Oasis world. Oh, here we go. Here's our menu. So we start off with 100 gold and, of course, with Slash in our party. Really quick, though. I'm going to just do something really fast here. Oh, hi, Wyrl. Hello. I'm going to turn the text to a little faster there. going to record that. Uh, one thing to do keep in mind about this game, you can only save when you're here in Great Log, or if you use an item called a bookmark. So, do keep that in mind. Well, hey! You remember the promise you made? Yeah. Now quit dawdling, Waru! So, if we go down here, this is the door. Desert world. And you see, it's not too big. There's only two there's only two towns and a little bit of ways to explore. So allow me to explain a couple of quick little mechanics here before we get started. So we were given two items, an herb and a pork shop. So the herb is your basic healing item. It will restore our it will restore one's monster's HP by around 30 to 40. A pork shop, it says tames monsters a little bit. So Meats, basically, are our quote-unquote Pokeballs of the game. And there are four kinds, basically. In order from weakest to strongest, we have the beef jerky, the pork chop, ribs, and sirloins. Basically, well, here, here's a battle. It's a cactuball, ouch! <laughs> All right, so we'll just let Slash take care of him, hopefully. There we go. Easy peasy. And it got up looking hopeful. And, yeah, sometimes some monsters don't need to be, like, coaxed into joining you. They'll do it immediately. We'll just name this one Jazz. And we'll take him with us. Because why not? And yes, you can just find items just lying around in the, op in the open world. So we'll just wander around and we'll let, uh, let these two fight a little bit and gain some experience. That's another herb. You can never have enough healing items. 
this is our first town, so we'll keep that in mind here while I look around a little more. A spot slime! Not too difficult. And Slash gains a level. Decent overall stats increase. There. there is one specific monster I am looking for around here, actually. So if we actually do run into that, I actually do want to grab it. Also looks like Jazz is a little low on health, so let's, uh, let's fix that up. There we go. Nothing here. Gains a level. More herbage. Another spot slime, we'll just take care of that. Oh, yay! Okay, come along. It's a female one, so we'll... Yeah, we'll just name it Stara. Now, before I actually started playing this, I did actually, um... Ask, a f ask around and see if anybody wanted to, uh... Be represented as a few monsters. And we will be doing that. But that comes later. Right now, we're just getting temporary party members and trying to... You know, fill up the team a little. Don't worry, I won't be doing any excessive grinding on screen. Or off screen for that matter. Just what's necessary. that one monster I'm looking for. There you are! <laughs> that is a Crescent, and I want to get that. So we just give this to you. And then we have to knock it out. There we go. And if everything goes correctly... Yep! There you go. Alright. Nyar. We'll put Stara back. Crispin will be a decent little ally early on. Right, grab this, and now we will head back to uh, the first town that we saw. Just on you, I don't know any spells. <laughs> yeah, that was stop spell, which pretty much does as it says. Ooh, a caterpillar. Caterpillars are good, but they're more defensive than anything. That's kind of funny. Use stop spell to stop stop spell. 
And Niara gains a level. Some good agility boost there. Where am I? Let's see. Okay, it's right over there. We just gotta go around here, and then we should be able to get back to where we need to go. Of course, <laughs> just before we get in there. Well, at least Slash gains another level out of it. There we are. This is Kalka, an Oasis Village. A thieving band runs amok here. It's impossible to get any decent sleep because of their threat. Moment, I think the tech speed is. Hmm. Pardon? A plug for a navel? Sorry, I have no idea what that is. The oasis water travels through a through an underground canal to Asaya. Asaya? It's a town that's due south. King called a circus troop to the town in the south. I hope they weren't mauled by thugs. I'm just gonna take a quick little nap here. Ten gold a night? Sure, why not? Our church is, imp is impoverished, so I was sent out to this village. I can heal you of poison, nullify curses, and raise those knocked out. So basically, like... If one of our monsters is KO'd, we can use this guy to get him to get them back up and running. The logs enable? Hmm, let me think. Perhaps the king and Asaya will know. Let's look in here. Ooh, a free herb. Don't mind if I do. The leader of the thieves is a fearsome man. He commands horde monsters to rob people. The logs enable? What is that? I can show you my navel on the sly. Oh, uh, come on, I don't... I'm a little kid, come on. <laughs> Full of wood chips. Hmm. Ooh, beef turkey. Oof, risque indeed. <laughs> but, you know, that's Dragon Quest for you. They can't help but do a few risque things here and there. I mean, Puff Puff comes to mind. <laughs> The underground canal is ahead. The last king made it made it for our people when there were water shortages. It was a hard, hard task. Well, I guess then let's head south. Ooh, critical hit! There's a classic sound right there. I do apologize for any coughing. I did get over a tiny little bit of sickness recently. <laughs> this is a Saya, the Desert Flower. The circus master was trying to recruit people at the inn. He says the troops scattered when the thieves set, set, on, set on them. Traveling is far too risky for me. Our king has been a fan of, circus since, of circuses since he was a child. If there is a circus, he always summons the troop to the castle. Welcome to my item shop. You may buy or sell items here. How may I serve you today? Let's see what you got. So you got your herbs, which heal. You got your antidotes, which, well, boost poison, awake sand to wake up sleeping monsters. You got your beef jerky to tame them. And a warp wing, which will take us instantly back to Great Log. It's always handy to have at least one of these, just in case. You want something, honey? A plug for the log's navel? Well, the king likes collecting all sorts of odd things, so he may have something that will work. Nothing in there. Our king came to an enormous inheritance. It was mind-boggling. His treasury is overflowing with incredible golden treasures. 
He's said to be particularly proud of something called Tidal Bell. Hmm. Long, thin cloth, huh? I'm going to assume that's the palace up there. I saw a lake like... I saw a lake like a mirage. In the east of the desert it was, but it disappeared as if by magic. Free antidote, don't mind if I do. When we get a hot spell, I sleep it in the daytime and work at night. That's the only way of coping. Strong monsters are in the well. You'd better be prepared if you are going down in there. I heard that the thieves disappear as soon as they get their loot. No one's seen their hideout. Hmm. Starting to put the puzzle here together. Hi there. I am the leader of a circus. We were invited to perform before the king, but my group was scattered like so many leaves in the storm. So I am the only one in my circus. Would you like to join me as a star? Yeah, sure, why not? Did you say yes? Yes, yes, you did! Your monsters will make a fine act. You can have top billing as our one and only fearless monster master. Come, we must go to the castle. And that was the fire breather. Let's hear it for this brave soul. Next, monsters will perform some amazing death-defying stunts. That's my cue. Alright, boys, just like we rehearsed. Jump to the fiery hoop. Good job, guys. Very good show! That was a splendid for your debut performance. The audience was quite pleased. We are to stay here for, mo for more shows here. So we have been permitted to go into the castle by the king. Sweet! Heh, <laughs> did you see the looks I got when I blew fire? Made me feel good. I wonder if the others are safe. When the thieves raided us, we ran. But while we kept our lives, we were separated from our circus master. His Majesty is honest and most certainly not evil in any way, but he is rather impetuous. I wish he wouldn't let him. Yeah, I wish he wouldn't order us on a whim. Why are you snooping around? Are you looking for something? Uh, yeah. A new plug for the log's navel. It has to have a magic power. Well, then there's only the king's title bell among his treasures. It can't be used to cross the sea. Really? You don't say. What's up, King? Ah, uh, you're the monster timber for the circus. Good show. So, do you wish something of me? Uh, yeah, actually. You wish to see our treasures? You're quite shocked to have an eye out for treasures, I must say. I see. All right, this is what we'll do. I'll help you if you help me. Fair enough. I inherited a throne from my father, who was a great king. But my rule has been beset by one disaster after another. No one listens to my orders now. Will you go find out the, what concerns of my people may have? If I solve their problems, I shall regain their trust and respect. Well, will you do this for me? Sure. Then make the way to the town. If you succeed, you can have the title bell for my treasures. Seems fair enough. We help the king, he helps us. A standard do-gooder fare. Alright. The king has given permission for you to come and go freely. Thank you. Thankfully, to keep this short, I know exactly who to talk to. Do I have any concerns? You'll tell the king for me? Well, then listen. The wells almost run dry. Could the king do anything about it? The wells almost run dry, you say? So, have you discovered what concerns my people may have? What? The well is running dry. I will order my men to raise the flow of water into the canal. Gods? Duke? Anyone? The canal is managed by the village of Kalka, isn't that right? Send someone to Kalka and have the manager open the canal gate more. 
your majesty, I must remind you. If that was done, the oasis will become drained immediately. Uh, what? Eh, never mind then. I'll go to Kalka and check myself. Well, you know what? Good on him, at least, you know. Like, honestly, a good king actually goes and checks on things himself rather than just sits on his throne all day. So, you know what? Props to him. And back here we go. What? Open the canal gate, more. The oasis will run dry if we did. That's an order I simply cannot accept, king or no king. Ah, I know that! I want to know why the water is gone. Fine, I'll go find out myself. Out of the way! Oof! I can see what they mean by a little impetuous. Our king has no patience. Well, at least his heart's in the right place. I believe I can save here. Yes. Okay. Correction. You can save anywhere that's safe, basically. So, like, you can't save in the middle of a dungeon, for example, or anything like that. But if you're, like, in a town or in Great Log, then yeah, it's fair game. Ah, now there is some familiar dungeon music for me. A mad candle. Alright, so it's here we're probably going to be at least grinding a little bit, because our first boss is actually in this place. We don't need to grind too much, thankfully, but... Hey, a pork shop. Cool. How about in here? And a free herb. Not too bad. Some giant worms, I believe. Yep. As you can tell, giant worms know a little move called Beast Cut, which is a physical based move that does more damage to beast members of the family. Of the, well, of the beast family, that is. These guys don't blaze. I suppose this will also be a good time for me to explain really quick about something else. The stat lines. So, every monster has four different stats. Attack, Defense, Agility, and Intelligence. Most of them are self-explanatory, but just to uh, do a quick little overlay. Attack is your physical-based attacks. Defense is how good you are against physical-based uh, attacks. Agility is how fast you are. The higher your agility, the better the chance you have of going, for, of going uh, before your opponent. And intellect both uh, determines the power of your spells, as well as how quickly you learn spells. And then there's WLD down there. That's wildness. Basically, uh, any monster that is not, like, explicitly yours, that you, like, you know, earn in the wild, say, like, Jasser and Nyar here, for example, uh, basically... The higher the wildness rating is, uh, the better the chance of they will not listen to you in a... They will not listen to your explicit instructions in battle. The way you can get the wildness lower is by feeding them meats, basically. Just, you know, just give it to them, and they'll lower their wildness stat, or just, you know, spend time with them. So that's a quick little rundown of all the stat lines there. And I think I see our problem down there. 
What's in this chest, though? An exit bell. So an exit bell will just get us completely out of a dungeon. It's always good to carry at least maybe one exit bell and one warp point with you at all times. Just in case. I believe there's uh, more I can learn on here. Ah, yes. This will also show you their, uh, their personality, as well as how much experience they have, and as well as how much they need to the next level. For the look of here, Nara's about to level up. off Jess and Niara really quick. <laughs> and now, let's hope we can do this in one go. I discovered why the water is so low. This beast dam is at fault. I've been trying to get it to destroy the dam, but to no avail. Uh, yeah, would you mind? I'm making a new home for my clan. Leave us be, or pay a price! Boss time! A beaver appears. Beaver's uh, pretty straightforward. He basically just has a lot of HP, and he has one... Oh! That's a good crit. He has basically only one uh, technique, and that's Charge Up, which will make us how we... The next uh, move that he does is going to really hurt. <laughs> so if that's the case, uh, let's see if we can get everybody to defend. Yeah, that would have done normally about like twice that much right there. Basically, all we really have to do in this fight is just keep an eye on everybody's HP, and then if he does charge up, we just defend for the turn, and then everybody should be fine. Oh, missed. Uh, just to be on the safe side, let's uh, heal up Slash. And that's that. Easy peasy. Is everybody gonna level up? Oh, just leveled up twice. <laughs> hey, everybody gets a level. Everybody benefits. Gah! You're so strong. You win. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. We used to live in Mirage Lake, but... We were kicked out by a band of thugs, who made it their hideout. I was looking for a new place to live. What? So that's the truth. Those wretched scoundrels. I promise I will imprison them. You will? So we can go back to Mirage Lake and live peacefully? Please catch the thieves. Here, I'll put this down here for you. Ah, <sighs> this should solve the water shortage in town. I humbly thank you for your help. Come see me in the castle. I will have the title bell for you. And thankfully, the well connects right back to where we need to go. Of course. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> he just wanted to jump scare us right there at the end of the level, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, up we go. And we're right back in here.
Okay, we're not fully healed, but... Hmm. I'll hold off on healing for a moment. Let's go and see the king real fast. Giant worms, huh? Or is it giant worms? <laughs> Very funny, Micah. Also, hi. Welcome to the stream. Ah, the town's water shortage seems to be no longer a concern. I thank you again for your work. Your reward is the title bell. Come, follow me to the treasury. Lead the way, king. Jump by thieves. They made off with the treasure. What? Ugh. Round up all the men at once. Have them report to my chamber. The hideout of the thieves is said to be in Mirage Lake. They must be caught. I will lead the expedition myself. Who will join me in this quest? Uh, well, um, um. I'll do it. Gosto! Good! Your valor be praised! We must capture the thieves at all costs. This is a mission. I apologize, but my treasures were taken by the thieves. I will head to Mirage Lake and bring them to justice. If we return safely, you shall have the promised title bell. Alright, well, looks like we're not quite done here yet. Now... I purposely ignored down there a little bit ago, but now we need to go down there. First off, let's see if anything's in here. The prisoner's things were there. Uh. Oh, uh, hi buddy, you okay? We didn't help the thieves! One of their men had joined the circus and used us as a cover. We had no idea. Please, we need to be released. Uh, don't worry, I'll clear your name there in a little bit. But we really need to talk to this guy. Where is everybody? I haven't been fed at all. Listen, I'll let you in on the secret if you have any food. Well, well, we do have some beef jerky on us, so here you go. <laughs> ah, that hit the spot. Thanks. Well, here's the secret I promised. Don't chase what runs from you. Lay some bait and let it come. That's the trick. Here, take this. We received the water call. That will help you for certain. Use it where you feel it is right. The water call is actually very important. It reveals Mirage Lake. Now, had I not known about that already, there would have been somebody in, I believe, one of the other, either back in town or back in the previous town we were in, that would give us a hint about that. So for right now, let us... Hit the sack really quick. And let's head over towards Barrage Lake, which is somewhere over on the western side. Let's try not to get into as too many fights as possible. At least nothing we can't win easily. Oh, this will help. As you can see, if they approach it, it just retreats. Just gonna very quickly actually exit out of here. Yeah, you can't save on the overworld, unfortunately, so... We gotta go in this... We just gotta go balls in on this, basically. The lake was in sight, but once we get this close, it isn't there. We'll never be able to find the hide out of the thieves this way. Uh, don't you worry, King. I got you covered. 
There we go. Thieves drove us from our homes. The leader of the thieves is a terrible man. He uses monsters. And there's our man. <laughs> you have monsters in tow. You're not from you're not from this world. I've come from the same world as you. I've been wandering through the other world seeking the ultimate monster. I was promised a strong monster by the demon lord of Limbo in exchange for this world's treasures. Come forth, my pretty. Show them that place. And thus we have the second boss of the Oasis world, Curse Lamp. Curse Lamp, thankfully, is not all too difficult. What will make him a little bit more difficult, though, is the fact that he can cast a spell called Upper. Upper basically will increase his overall physical defense, which, since we really only have physical attacks to, well, use right now, that's going to make things a little more difficult. But, this is why I wanted to get Crescent. Let's see if we can stop him from using Upper. Now I can't use spells! Nice! Now he can't raise his defense! So now it's just like before, we watch everyone's HP and, uh... And... yeah! As you can see, uh, Jas kinda ignored my orders there because his wildness was kinda high. Niar needs a herb, so we'll use that. Keep it up, guys. I always didn't love this boss music. It always sounded so menacing. So you can see, even without his, even without him raising his defense, he st still takes a quite a few hits. <laughs> Eventually. Slash here, just to be safe. Eventually, he will go down. Get 100 experience points. Everybody gets some nice, good chunks of levels here. And furthermore, furthermore, Curse Lamp is guaranteed to join us after this fight. I know they used this for the final boss of Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 1, yet I've always just viewed it as a final boss theme because of that game being the first Monsters game you, I played. That makes sense. That does make sense, Nathan. I, and I completely understand that. But the funny thing is, is that it did originate from both Dragon, Dragon Warrior Monsters 1 and 2 here. It's just the standard boss theme. But yeah, let's let Curse Lamp join us. It is a female... Your name is Revy, and you will come with us. Jess, you go back to the farm. You defeated my monster? Uh, time to regroup. You thieves! There's no escape! Repent for your misdeeds and sin- What? How did you get- Ah, uh, whatever. The thieves are in there? You're safe now. We're here. All yours, fellas. Surrender and live! Hey, Help me, boss! Ugh, mercy! I surrender! Ha-ha! We bagged the lot! 
Peace will be restored among people and monsters. You've been a great help to us. I must reward your efforts. This is the title bell. It's imbued with mystic powers. What do you intend to do with it? A plug for a navel? Take this as my thanks. Terra obtained the title bell. I've been a burden to you, but I'll be fine now. I know what to do. I will rule with confidence. You'll always be welcome with us. Take care, King. A voice echoed from nowhere. Well, hey, can you hear me? I felt an odd power stirring. You found a plug for the navel. I'll bring you back. Don't move. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick little hydrate break before I proceed. Okay, that's better. <coughs> well, hey, you did it, Terra. I'll give you Great Lock's power. Yeah, anytime we come back, Waruba will fully heal us, so that's always a plus. There, your party's fine. So, the new plug for the navel? Here you go. Well, hey, so this is it. This is the title bell, Waru. It exudes an odd power, yes. We'll see if it works, Waru. Well, hey, that's it. Great Lock is saved. Good. I don't think it fit. <laughs> well, hey, no good, no good. I have to plug the navel again. How's it, Daisy? Well, hey, that was no good. But Tidal Bell has magic in it. Give me your hand. I hold it and. Well, hey! <coughs> God, this is doing murder to my throat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, the ability to cross the sea is in you, Waru. Talk to the sea and it will reply. Hey, I felt an odd power. It's the sea, it's calling. A dilapidated pirate ship is what I see on the sea, Waru. But this time, you must find the key. It's right here in Great Long, I think. The pirate key is what you want. It is indeed what we want. However, there is something I want to do first. We're actually going to go back to the Oasis world for a, a short little trek. So every time you do uh, come back to a world, any items that just randomly spawn in the overworld will uh, refresh, by the way. So you can always just go back to the world and just pick up what you need. So that's that's one reason why we're here. But not the only reason. As you can see, Curse Lamp is a very nice little outline to have. The main reason why we're actually here is to go back into the well. Because, as Warubu said, we can cross water now. Upsa daisy. That means we can get over here. And there's a tiny metal in here. Our first of oh so many. <laughs> oh, tiny metals. The collectible of collectibles. <laughs> This was the item I was referring to earlier. A bookmark will enable will let you do a one-time save anywhere, even if there is danger around. Very handy if you're just like relatively unsure if you can like take on a boss or something. Also, I do not believe there are any monsters on the water. And there's also this here. We get a wind staff. Now, stabs are very interesting. 
hits all enemies with a windstorm. Basically, these are attack items that the player character can use. Haha, <laughs> tiny metals. My earlier joke is proven. <laughs> Giant worm, tiny metals. I see what you did there, Micah. <laughs> But yeah, as I was as I was explaining, uh, stabs in general are basically just like attack items for the player. You can use them to basically just unleash a certain spell onto uh, enemy opponents. And it's actually they're actually decently powerful ones. But one thing I know that they are even more useful for is that they also sell for a lot of money. And money's not as easy to get in this game as they are in some others. So, whether or not we use that in battle, or if we use it to pack our finances a little bit, that remains to be seen. But we will see. Let's see now. I believe the last part of what I want... Aha! Uh -huh. And correction! There are indeed monsters of the water, including this Scalapia! Correction, there was a Scalapia there. Anyway, the last part I need is actually across this bridge on the other side. Now, you. There's two more treasures over here. First, we have an agility ring, which is our first accessory. And then the other, we have a free warp ring. So we have an easy way to get back now as well. Not that I didn't have one before, but it never hurts to have an extra. quite what I meant to do there, but, uh, just really quick. But yeah, every monster can hold one accessory, and an agility ring raises agility by ten. I'm gonna give that to Nyar, I think. That way he's a little faster. And now we can just get out of here. We'll emerge on the other side, back near the castle. Sure, come on, come along. Leg. <laughs> we'll send him back to the. We'll send her back to the farm. And that was, well, that was the main reason I wanted to come back here. But there is one more reason. Although, if I remember correctly... Hmm... I actually forget, to be honest, but... Wouldn't hurt to save really quick. Anyway, we need to head back to Mirage Lake one more time really fast. Why not? Can never have too many. Mirage Lake does remain uh, revealed, thankfully. Cool! Our home came back to us. Cool! I heard from others held captive by the thieves. You beat their boss. I see how you beat me now. Yeah, this is the same beaver we beat earlier. Let me join your party. Yeah, sure! But you have no room for me. So now we just need to pick a monster to go back to the farm. And as good as Slash is, I think we're going to send him back for a bit. And thus, Beano the Beaver joins the party. As you can see, he starts at level 5. Pretty overall decent. Pretty even down with the rest of our party, I'd say. And now, I believe we are done here, so let's head back. 
Well, hey, Terra, you're safe. I'll share some of Great Lock's power. Well, hey, there. All healed. Be careful, Waru. So, now we need to get something called the Pirate's Key. And we shall get that. But first, I am going to take a very brief little uh, break here. Get up and stretch, use the bathroom and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah. I will be back in just a little bit. So, stay tuned here. I'm just gonna turn this down for a moment and uh, switch myself to be right back. All right, sit back and relax and I will be back in just about a minute or two.
Sneaky fellow indeed, my good Zeno. Welcome aboard. <laughs> All right, so I've had a bit of a stretch break, had a little bit of hydration, had a little bit of jerky for some a quick snick, quick little sneaky snack, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get back to this, shall we? Let me get the volume back up here. Perfect. That'll work. <clears throat> All righty. So, with the oasis uh, out of the way. We now need to find something called the Pirate Key. Let's head back up. Oh, hey there. You're the child of the farmer? Under His Majesty's decree, there will be a tournament for child masters. He wishes you to take part. Needless to say, a prize awaits the champion. The Pirate Key. Well, I guess we found it. <laughs> the winner also wins the right to use the Starry Shrine and Egg Evaluator services. What? You don't know about the Starry Shrine or the Egg Evaluator? Uh, look them up at the library. I'm not much good at explaining, but I've gotten you the but I've gotten you the word. All right then. Well, I guess we need to participate in a small little tournament so that way we can gain access to the pirate key, as well as something else of vital importance to this entire game. Even the most ordinary of days bring small changes. So long as there is somewhere you can relax, life isn't all that bad. Damn, that is actually some very good advice. Who says video games can't teach you anything? And as you can see, we can go up here now. But before we do, really quick... Oh, hi, good to see you again. This is the vault. You can keep your money and items safely here. You can take them out any time, too. It's free, so feel free to use us. So how may I serve you today? I would like for you to deposit one particular item I have on me at the moment. Just hold on to this, please, and thank you. We won't need the tiny metals yet, but it is good to still collect them. If your party is wiped out, Half your money's gone, just like that. But any money in the vault is safe. Better save than sorry, just like your journal. Travel smart. Video games can do a lot. Teach, relax, entertain, and much more. Indeed they can, Micah. Indeed they can. Also, if we go down here really quick. Uh -huh, I see, yeah, that guy did actually uh, hightail it. Oh my, where'd the shop go? Just when I needed to shop too. I hear rumors that Prince Kamea was seen near the magic door. Is that prince going to spread his mischief to other worlds? I am a dealer, a merchant who buys and sells useful items. Now come back with a grown-up. Really? There are some items that can be equipped by your monsters. D-Scale, which is sold here, is one, but it's just one item per monster. The castle is in an uproar because Prince Kamea has disappeared. I bet he's hiding because one of his silly pranks was discovered. Yeah, you know, like, um, dooming the island. <laughs> this technically kind of was their fault, <laughs> not mine. You've been going out a lot lately. Where do you go out to play? Oh, you're trying to save Greatlock? Well, my hero, how about an errand? Could you go buy Love Water? Drax slime is badly sunburned, so I need to treat its condition. Here's some money. Keep the change. Aw, thanks, Ma. Yeah, I'll go help him out. Maybe now that merchant will actually uh, sell stuff to us. I mean, now he won't be so snobby and think that we're not grown-ups. You're too young to be shopping. Next time, bring an adult, okay? Oh, an errand for your mother? You know, for a youngster, you're obviously quite responsible. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Stupid little... What can I do for you today? I need a love water, please. Just the one. Thank you. What else do you sell? Also, love water is just a better herb. It restores 60 to 70 HP. Not too shabby. Oh, you sell pork chops as well as bookmarks and warp wings. 
and the D skill that that one woman mentioned, which raises defense by five. I'm just gonna grab two little pork chops here, just just to be sure. Now let's go give that love water to the Drax slime. Mom did say keep the change, and so we're using it for a good reason. Oh, you brought the love water! This will heal Drax slime. Thank you, dear. Tara handed over the love water. Hey, he's all better. I'll get you to run more errands. Oh, don't look so glum, dear. Love water soothes sunburn. Tara, what was it like in the other worlds? I'd like to know. Oh, the tile bow wasn't the right size to fit the log's navel? Are you sure you can do it, Tara? Well, yes, I guess I did leave it up to you, Tara. I believe in you. Papa expanded the farm so we can look after more of your monsters. So what can I do for you, sis? Let's just check. So we have so we have seven monsters currently. We have Beaver, Crespent, Curse Lamp, a, a normal slime, Cacti Ball, a Spooky, and a Spot Slime. The farm grew a lot bigger, including the monsters with you. The farm can now hold up to twenty. Monsters of the farm earned some experience in battle. Yada yada, we know. So yeah, now we can have 20 monsters on the farm, including the three that we have. A bridge to the island there will increase the farm's space. Beaver's helping with the bridge. Hey, you mean you like mine? <laughs> Off to another world. There are many items to be found just lying around in other worlds. They will help you on your trek. Did you know? You can record in your journal only in a castle, town, or a village in the world. Yep, I knew that. Ooh, you're a big boy. I'm chopping down some trees to make the farm larger. Stay well clear. Falling timber is very hazardous. Alrighty. Let's go do what we need to do then. Hey, a little bitty master! Hi! You'll see a good cr You'll see a good crowd of skilled masters today in the arena. It's a good chance to learn a few things about some monsters. So down there is the arena, which is very important, but let's check out over here. Well, you're a mighty lively kid. Let me tell you something. Do you know about tiny metals? They can't be sold, but they can be traded to a collector. You should store them in the vault, which I do. Take care to find tiny metals. Look in vases and barrels for them. You don't say. And when you know it, <laughs> there you go, there's another one. There's a plant sprouting inside. Try the slide, it's a shortcut. My dad's a famous monster master. I'm gonna be just like him. I was on my way to the magic door so I could go to another world. Marubu stopped me and demanded help, but I've been caught enough by that prankster. Not this time. Pack properly if you're going off to another world. Some have never returned. Very true, some never have. My granddaughter is painfully shy. She seems so sad by herself. Oh, you're so lucky to have some friends like that. I wish I had one. A spot slime would be so adorable. A spot slime, you say? Hmm. Ah, the log twig. I'll explain that in a minute. Just want to finish checking out the rest of this place. Did you know that there's a place for changing monster names? No. Go visit the Christianer. She's a lovely lady. She's not anything like that creep who lives next door. 
What for you? Full of junk. Hey, let me ask you something. Did you see the woman next door? Uh, yeah. Did she say anything to you? She's a nasty piece of work. How could she yap so much? I see, okay. So, I, I, I think I see the relationship these two have. <laughs> but, uh, that girl over there did say she wanted to see a spot slime. We just so happen to have one back on the farm, so... One more little detour here before we continue. Uh, Revy, you stay here for a second. And... I believe... Yeah, Stara. Come with us. Yeah, Stara, you come with us. Heh. <laughs> Funny. My character's name is Tara. The spot slime's name is Stara. Hmm. Bit of alliteration there. I believe it was in here. No, the other one. Oh, you're so lucky to have friends like that. I wish I had one. Your spot slime is so adorable. Um, can I have it? Go ahead, kiddo. Really? Wow, thank you! I promise I'll take care of it. Yep, she's taking good care of me. But I need to get more exercise. I might blow it up to become a spot king. That's a little hint there, by the way. I've never seen my granddaughter so happy and full of life. Let me thank you with a gift. We get a life acorn. A life acorn is actually a stat boosting item. And by that, I mean it's not really like, you know, not, not an accessory, no. This one is a permanent stat boosting item. We'll save it for a little bit later, but right now we need to get Revy back on the team. There we go. Now then, enough of the sidetracks for right now. Let us go down into the arena. We'll go up here afterwards. Do you know all, all the kinds of meat? There's beef jerky, pork chop, rib, and then there's sirloin. Sirloin is the ultimate. So tender and heavenly tasty. If you eat any bad meat like me, you'll get poisoned. need luck on your side to win at the arena. Put another way, you could win just by getting lucky. Which to take? Monsters you've raised or those you befriended? Listen, this is a secret. There's a man who trades tiny metals for impressive gifts. We will meet him later. Welcome to the arena! Masters pit their teams in battle to test their power. Will you enter your monsters? Yes. You're young, so you have to start in the kids' class. But don't scoff. You'll lose if you're complacent. Here are, the, here are the arena rules. You can't use any items in battle. And you forfeit if you flee. Win three battles to take the title. The pirate key is the prize. It's pretty simple as that. Basically, we cannot actually control what our mon- Well, we cannot directly command- our monsters to do anything. We can somewhat control what they do. We can tell them to either, you know, be very aggressive, aka charge. We can tell them to do a mixture of things, mix, so like, you know, a mixture of attacking, uh, defending, and all that good stuff. Or we can tell them to be de more defensive, in which they will, you know, take guard more often, and they will also heal allies if they know how. But we cannot directly command them what to do. They have to act on their own, basically. Welcome to the arena! We have a special team with us. Master Terra and the Farm Friends! Battle 1. Ready? Go! Our first arena battle 
is against two Babbles and a Pearl Gel. The Pearl Gel in the middle is a bit of a... It's a bit of a hassle. I think he can actually raise defense. And Babbles, well, if you've played any Dragon Quest games, you know they're prone to poisoning. So, let's see what we do. Alright, Pearl Gel's down. That's easy. Oh, the Babble knew Sap. Okay, Sap is kind of dangerous because that lowers our overall defense. But I think we should do alright. If that's all you're actually going to do, then... Yeah. I think we got this. Easy. The challenger wins battle one. Battle two. Ready? Go! So we have a spiky boy, a pixie, and eggplant, I believe is the last one. So let's see what happens. Yeah, eggplant. There we go. I got it right. Hey, I still remember them. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, so now Spiky Boy's barely taking any damage. Eggplant knows Lure Dance, which can make us lose turns. But thankfully, he doesn't seem to be doing that well with that. Peasy. That's amazing! Is this true? The challenger wins battle two! And yes, that rhymes. This decides the champion. Final battle! Ready? Go! It looks like we have two Mad Ravens and Skull Roo there in the middle. So the Mad Ravens can cast Speed, which makes it that way they're, they're pretty much guaranteed to go first, but they're always not that strong from the look of it. If we can get one of these guys down... There we go. And two down. Alright. I think we got this. All too easy. Incredible! The winners are Master Terra and the Fun Friends. What an impressive debut. Congratulations! You did it! You've won the kids' class. The king will give you his official recognition as a monster master. You can use the Starry Shrine and the Egg Evaluator services now. You'll be facing grown-ups here from now on, so keep training hard. Here's your prize, the Pirate Key. All right. Really quick here, I want to save before I talk to this guy. Hi there. I lost again. I need to train my monsters a lot more to win. I'll have to go back to a world I've already finished, and raise their levels some more. There might be something new for me to discover. Who knows? A lot of people to talk to out here. I think one of these has something. Maybe not. Nope, I guess not. Or was it this one? Hey, look at that, another tiny metal. I think what I find most impressive about this game is that they actually made sprites for like every single individual monster in this game. And keep in mind, there's 312 of them. 
Alright, let's go store away these two tiny metals really quick. Thankfully, they do stack. Alright, now, let's go take a look up here. Take this slide as a shortcut. Yep, that's a quick way down. This leads to Great Log Castle. No one enters without a permit. No permit, huh? Okay, so we can't go any further than that. What's in here? I found a key in another world, so I'm having it appraised. I hope it leads to a world with some monsters I've not yet seen. I'm apprenticing under the boss. He told me that the name of a key hints at its destination. Day after day, I examine keys, but I'm nothing compared to the boss yet. Check black coal, nothing in there. And there's another tiny metal! Welcome to my key shop. I appraise and identify keys. An unidentified key can't be used. Should I appraise your keys? Uh, not right now. I don't have any at the moment. Okay, come back if you find any magic keys. Oh, you bet I will. Don't worry. That guy is very important. Monsters hate being away from their master. They can turn rebellious out of sadness. Try to understand. Warpwing returns you instantly to Greatlock, so I take one with me when I visit other worlds. <sighs> this book is so sad. There are books that change your personality but just by reading them. Sure, check the pass. So, it's the library guide. Read it. Sure. You may check your catalog of monsters in the library. The monsters you befriend or breed are cataloged by family, in which individual species are listed. To examine your catalog, please speak to the receptionist. All right. Do you have any idea about this monster family's business? Uh, no. Monsters can be categorized in ten groups according to their features. Slime, dragon, beast, bird, plant, bug, devil, material, water, and... Uh, uh, Excuse me. Those ten groups are the families. Note that she only categorized nine there. There is a tenth family of monsters. We'll get to that in a moment. Even I can cast spells if I have the right kind of staff. Welcome to the library. You may check your catalog here. The catalog is personalized, so it won't contain data on monsters that you don't know. Anyway, which family would you like to check? Like I said, there's a tenth family. So we have in order, we have, again, slime, dragon, beast, bird, plant, insect, or bug, devil, zombie, de- let's see, uh... Yeah. Uh, devil, zombie, material, water, and the mysteries. That's basically our Pokedex right there. Anyway, let's head back down. Whee! It's easy to get down, but up? Ugh. Now, they did mention that we have access to something called the Starry Shrine. Up ahead is the Starry Shrine and the Egg Evaluator's Chamber. Both of them offer essential services to Masters, but they're always packed by other Masters. It looks like I'll be waiting here for a long time. I believe... Well, we do have access to it, we can't quite get in there just yet. I don't think. So for right now... First off, save. How long have I been going? Let's see here. I've been going... For almost two hours now. Wow. Time sure flies, huh? Alright, let's go check out the pirate world, shall we? There be pirates in this world. 
So as you can see, the Pyro World's a fair bit larger, and it's also, well, there's water now. But, we have the Tidal Bell, so water's not a problem for us. It's what's in the water that might be a problem. Hey look, Slimes and Drackey! Kind of see it, the monsters are starting to get a little bit on the tougher side now, but nothing we can't handle. This is the village of Yold. We're known for our fresh fish. Fish! Around these parts, it's faster to travel by boat than walking, so everyone has their own boat. In the olden days, it was dangerous because there were pirates. In the northwest is a village that is famous for mermaids. Mermaids, you say? I don't have much, but would you care to see my wares? Sure. Let's see, you got herb, love water, antidote, awake sand, pork chops, warp wings, and a bookmark. I'll just grab one of these, just a uh, nice little, nice little high heel that we need. And that is a Warp Staff. That's a new one. That will instantly take us back to the Door Shrine, which is the place that we, you know, enter a world in. Which also reminds me really quick. Allow me to show you what that, uh... What this does. It moves the Door Shrine. So now, it's right here. Birds are noisy. It's a sign that the quake will hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. See? What did I just say? Nothing in here, nothing in there. Nothing in there. I saw a haunted ship in the north. It scared me so much, I can't get out of bed. <sighs> scary. Mermaids lived in the sea in the northwest. Among their treasures was a round mirror called Har Mirror, but it was stolen by pirates. Nobody knows where it is now. Har's Mirror, huh? The volcanic island off the coast appears to be in a bad mood. There have been many quakes. The fish aren't biting at all. Well, it looks like we got a bit of a situation in this world. Ah! So... For the most part, all that we've seen on the overworld is just, you know, leaves, which indicate, like, you know, herbs and such. This... This is money. That's actually perfect, because I know for a fact I'm going to need an army at later, so let's just give this port check to him. There you go. Revy gains a level. And he learns speed, so now we have a way to increase our own speed, too. Nice, the army I got up. Yes. Uh... We will name you Totem. <laughs> Just head back to the farm for a minute. We will need you later. A laurel? Huh. I forgot what that did. Lifts the curse off a monster. Okay, so if we get if one of my monsters get cursed, we have that. I don't quite remember what curses actually do, but they can make you do a lot of things, including just lose health or even lose a turn, among other things. Found an herb, but there's no room for it. These are mad gophers, and I know for a fact I'm definitely going to need one of you later. I 
And one thing to keep in mind that when you're trying to recruit a monster to your a wild monster to your side, it's only the last one that was defeated that has the chance of joining you. Sure, are tanky, you know that. <laughs> Bino gains a level, and there we go. Your name is Pin. Well, now we can pick this up at least. Welcome to Polona. It's a tourist resort known for the mermaids in the, in the area. I'm from the port of the Northeast. I'd almost, re I'd almost reached here when army ants and mad gophers jumped me. I managed to get away, though. I'm glad I made it here safely. It's quiet and restful. I came from a far away to see some mermaids, but I hear they've not been seen lately. That's a shame. Welcome to the port of Polona. Frolic with mermaids. Ah, this is heavenly. It makes me feel alive again. Relaxing here, all my troubles seem to melt away into the into insignificance. You're not supposed to go near the cave in the west. It's on the cape. Water monsters live there. Mama said it's dangerous. mermaids here in the past, but not anymore. Not since the pirates raided them and took their treasure. After that, the mermaids have kept away from people out of fear. It's a shame. They were decent sorts who liked to dance and sing. Have you heard the legend about the mermaid's treasure? Uh, no. Tell me more. Long ago, a deft craftsman made a mirror with the power of darkness. It brought ruin to whatever its cold face reflected. Learning of this mirror, the people grew frightened. They took the mirror from the craftsman. He was hurled into the sea. The craftsman, out of sorrow, leapt after the mirror into the sea. The mirror drifted into the lair of the mermaids, where it was kept under secure seal as the horror mirror. And that's the tale. Interesting little story he had there. What about over here? In the past, mermaids are said to have sang and danced with people where we stand now. Would you like to dance to remember and celebrate the days gone by? Yeah, sure, why not? Then I'll sing. La 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 la. Just gonna do a little jig here. Ta da! And the sense of rhythm just doesn't quite come through. If there were a monster that could lead the dance performance. Oh, pardon me, you are a novice. A monster that can lead the dance performance, eh? Now, where do you suppose we could find that? That army ant is one lucky little mofo. It literally just dodged a crit. Alright, Bino gained another level. Revy gains a level. And speed becomes speed up, which... That will actually increase the speed of everybody in the party. That's a mushroom. Or should I say a toadstool? <laughs> oh, 
Oh lord, it's gonna hit 26 degrees with you, Ian? I, I am so sorry. Bundle up, hon. Seriously. Keep the place nice and toasty. Hmm, they did mention the cave over here. There's no stop. Also, we get a different variation of the song when we surf. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, let's just use one of these on Yar. And we'll also save before we get out. Oh, wait, we can't, right? Or could we? I've seen surfing Pikachu, he's real! <laughs> Alrighty. The Coastal Cave. Ah, oh, yeah, these guys. These guys cast a little move called Geyser. Basically, Geyser will shoot one of our party members up into the air, and they won't be able to act for for a turn. And then they fall back down, in which they then have a chance to take to take damage. It's very disruptive. As you can see, it's only a chance to take damage. One's down. Two's down. Ow! Sorry, every time I do that, I just go, ow! <laughs> Alright, we're good. Pretty good experience, though. Everyone gained a level. And upper becomes increase, which is basically a defense increase for everyone. Lily could use a monster that knows healing spells, though. Let's have a look around, shall we? in here? A rib. Okay, we're gonna save that for a monster we really want. There's another love water, so another heal is always nice. Alright, what do we have here? An octakid. If I remember correctly, these guys aren't too much of a threat. Chests. Ooh, piece of candy. What's in this one? An exit bell. Okay, always handy. A uh, love water. Also good. And a merb scale. That is an accessory. Which raises defense by 10. We're going to give that to... Revy, I'd say. Because Bino's already pretty bulky as it is, so let's give it to Revy. I mean, he can stay back. Oh, hello there. All right, this is actually what we came in here for. Ah, who are you? 
That does our surf. I mean turf. You show me some respect on our surf. Turf! Ah, that's it. Now I'm mad. Behold the hood squid. This guy is definitely going to be a bit of a nuisance. And that's kind of why, because he hurts. <laughs> Alright. Raise our defenses first. You know, you use charge up, you know, hit him. Uh, Revy, can we get a speed up, maybe? No, you can't. Ow! Ow! By attack, that is hard. That... That's a... That's a nasty one, because that hits, uh... One person twice. And Yar's dead. Crap. Crap. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. You know, you need a love water like yesterday. Whew. Okay, now he's not really doing a lot. That's good. Gotta chip him down, basically. I don't think... Can we still do another increase? Maybe not. Not if Revy keeps ignoring. Damn it. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm kind of concentrating on this a little bit. Go down, you slimy calamari.
barely did anything, actually. <laughs> hey, there we go. Phew! Yeah, Hood Squid's probably the first boss of this that will make you, like, try to th think your strategy's over. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, an unprepared team could probably have some trouble. But hey, we won! Bina gets two levels out of that. So does Revy. Sadly, Niar doesn't get anything, but that's okay because... Mm, you're quite strong. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You let me go with you? You'll find my dancing special. Yeah, sure. Yeah, your party's full. There's any room for me. Eh, not yet. Niar, uh, you go back to the farm. And thus, Squiz the Hood Squid joins our party. As you can see, he's, uh, quite the intellectual little squid. Also, 69 attack. Nice. <laughs> And he did say, you'll find my dancing special. Hmm. Another warp staff, always good. I think I got everything that's in here, because I don't think there's anything in the middle of the dungeon. So let's surf back over here, and we are back at the entrance. There we are. We made it out. And with a new ally to boot. Let's head back to the village now. Ah, uh, fuck. Wow, that's like the third time that's happened in this. Like, literally, I'm just about to get out or get into somewhere and immediately, monster attack. <sighs> Old school RPGs, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, first things first. Do we check these? I don't think we check these. Tourist pamphlets. More pamphlets. Pamphlets, pamphlets, pamphlets. Man, saying pamphlets many times over is hard. Alright, let's rest. Now let's try this again, shall we? As you can see, the dance is a lot more fluent. Hop it up, hot up, hot up. Squeezes dancing lured a mermaid to the surface. Bravo, bravo! You are fabulous! You have a certain flair for genius! And yes, they're British, because I don't know why. Please, take this as my thanks. Hey, I got a tiny metal phone. Huh, how about that? Well, how about that? We actually attracted a mermaid. Go ahead and save again. And I suppose now, uh, yeah, let's head up north. Oh, hello. I see something over there. So I've actually just now also noticed something. Um, basically, I actually have a decent uh, team right here. Like, Bino, it, Bino's the tank. He has a lot of HP, and he can absorb a good chunk of hits. Curse Lamp is the uh, support character, because he has, like, increased in speed up to help uh, give support of spells. And then Squiz, well, he's the DPS. An attack seed. Hmm, yeah, so what if I do? Let's 
Looks like there's a town right over here. Hold up. Hold that thought. Don't be so picky. <laughs> were swallowed by the sea after monsters overwhelmed them. But before they sank, they're said to have hidden their treasures. This is Port Wright. This is Port Ritz, where ships gather from all over the world. The old man in the tavern's neat. He tells me all sorts of things. I wish I could get kidnapped by some pirates one day. It'd be neat. Uh, <laughs> keep dreaming, kid. There's this old sailor man in the tavern who likes his grog too much. Whenever he's had a few, he'll regale you with tales of the high seas. But his stories tend to be a bit preposterous. I don't trust him. This port used to be lively in the past, but it's become run down. The pirates have all gone, but the port's still fading away. There's a lighthouse to the east, but it's too dangerous. It's been overrun by monsters since the pirates stole the moon rock from the top of the lighthouse. The moon rock, huh? My ship sank in the Eastern Sea. We were sailing near a whirlpool when huge suction cup tentacles reached out and grabbed the ship. It's terrifying to even recall that. Keep what he said in mind. That's a hint towards something that comes later. Listen, did you know? Mermaids appear to love dancing. By the way, there's a cave west of Polona. A giant squid lives there. That squid is said to love to dance. I don't know if I want to see that. Why, you mean this one? <laughs> the sea's level has gone down. Many shoals have appeared. And that's resulted in countless ships running aground in these parts. The lighthouse had the moon rockets all at its pinnacle. It would glow at night to light the way for, mer for mariners at sea. It was a gift from the mermaids, you see. I see. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh, another tiny metal. Don't mind if I do. I went to Polona a while back. You know, it's southwest of here, but I never got to see any mermaids. I was looking forward to it, too. I've seen one. All sorts of people come here from around the world. But a little kid with monsters? That's something you don't get to see here too often. Not even here. I have a quality merchandise. Would you care to see my wares? Sure. What do you got, buddy? See, got some of the standards. Oh, you actually sell ribs, but those are actually quite expensive. I'm gonna buy a couple of love waters to replace some of the. Okay, so 24 items is the most I can carry. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Eh? Oh, wait, I know that sound. Hi, Kamea! <laughs> that old man. He was too grog to make any sense. Captain, sir, what'll we do? <laughs> Made me waste my time. We'll come back later for him. Hey, you're Tara, the farmer. Don't tell me you're looking for something to plug the nail. So, Warubu well, asked you too, huh? Yeah, but those monsters you're with, don't they look frail and wimpy? Hey. Look, I've already got two sidekicks. I'll find the plug before you. Come on, team, let's go. Ow! <laughs> you know, for being a snide prince, he sure has a mean elbow. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway. The volcanic island off the coast is vicious. It's vicious to ships. Its ring of shoals keeps boats away. The old fellow there? The instant he smells a sea monster, he wakes up, even if he's tanked on grog. That's a real sea dog, I'd say. When that old man gets grogged, you can't move him with a crowbar. It's like he casts iron eyes on himself. What can we do about it? 
Smells a sea monster, you say? Well, I just so happen to have a monster of the sea on me. Huh? Watch out! What? What are you with monsters? You're an odd little child. Yeah, how dare! Look how cute the MC is! Yeah, seriously, like, look at her! She's literally right, like, right over there. You're an odd little child. Did you want to hear my tales? Yeah, sure. It was in my callow youth. Ugh, the ship I was on was captured by pirates who kept us as slaves. We toiled for months that way. But one day, I overheard them talking about the moon rock. If it were taken from the top of the lighthouse, the sea would ebb. And that would make it impossible to approach the volcanic island where they hid their loot. Unfortunately, they saw me. They would never allow someone to live knowing their secret. So I ran and left it to the sea. I was rescued by a passing ship. The pirate's loot is probably still on the volcanic island. But there is no way of getting close to the island. It should be possible to go to the island if the moon rock were to be returned to the lighthouse. But the moon rock sank with the pirates and their ship. Maybe if mermaids could help... Can mermaids still be seen in Polona? Funny you mention that, yes. Let's go back and see the mermaids really quick, shall we? Let's explore around a little bit. Let's see, if I remember correctly, we actually got some stat boosting items, so let's do that. Uh... Yeah, Bino, you need a little more attack. And we'll also... Let's see, I believe we also have that Life Acorn, which raises max HP. We'll give that to Revy, so that way he can, uh, sorry a little longer. Give me that. That's a picky. Die, burb. going to reorder the team, put Revy in the back. There we go. Because, much like in a general RPG, the character that's furthest in the back is the least likely to be attacked. So having Bino up front, because he's the more tanky one, is a good idea. Come on, come on, out of the way. There we go. Let's see, how's everyone... And now Revy has 69 HP. Nice. 69 HP, 69 attack. Darn. Can't make the trifecta. Oh, well. <laughs> we tried. Let's dance another little jig really quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. And a hop, and a do, and a lump a do. There we go. Bravo! Bravo! You are fabulous! You have a certain flair for genius! Oh? You say you want the moon rock? Well... Alright. Your monsters say that you're a good human. I'll take you to our queen. Close your eyes a little while. And now we're underwater! Don't ask how we're holding our breath. It's probably like mermaid magic or something. It's magic. I ain't, I ain't gotta explain anything. The pirates caught us in nets and blackmailed our queen into handing over our treasures. Ugh. I know not all humans are bad, but the pirates who stole our treasures were humans too. I hope Harmir is not being used for their wicked misdeeds. 
The Horror Mirror was exquisite. It was so flawless that it made real its reflection, while the original ceased to exist in this world. The moon rock fell from the sky. It glows like the moon at night. We mermaids are peaceful beings. We shy away from violence. The thought of a haunted ship roaming the sea just makes us uneasy. It will make our scales go coarse. The pirates sank with their ship. However, their greed for treasure would not allow them to rest easy. They now drift the sea as the ghostly crew of a spectral ship. Welcome, young human. I heard that you seek the moon rock to land on the volcanic island. The moon rock is no longer here, unfortunately. But I can tell you where it is. It remains on the ghost ship. It is a spectral ship, manned by the spirits of pirates who died at sea. Driven by greed for treasures, the ship still wanders upon the waves. Look north from Yold for her. North of Yold, huh? Alright. This is the Mermaid Kingdom. It is built on the ocean floor. It's very rare to see a human here. Tell me if you want to go home. Yes, please. Thank you. Alright, so this is Polona, right? So if this is Polona, the other city the other city is the old then. So we need to just go north of Yold to find the pirate ship. Almost two and a half hours. Okay. Hey, Revy got a level. Keep an eye on the time, because I also want to go get me some dinner pretty quick. Oh, thank you, Ian. <laughs> Ian just said I'm rocking it today. That's very that's very sweet. Thank you. I hope everybody watching, I hope everybody watching this is also enjoying themselves, and find this interesting. I know RPGs aren't exactly everybody's cup of tea, but I hope people do enjoy it. Especially if it's one, you know, that I remember playing a lot, a lot a long time ago. And don't worry, I actually have a few other RPGs in mind as well to play, including one that apparently got best indie RPG of last year. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I can't wait to play that. But, uh, this game is definitely, uh, gonna be, like, sort of a year-long, uh, project of mine. It's, uh, I don't intend to, like, you know, finish it quickly. This one is actually just going to be, like, you know, a game that I can kind of take my time with over the course of the year. Alright, let's see. It said look north of Yold. Yolt's over here, so... Down you go. Oh, money! You grew up with a number of Final Fantasies. One, two, four, four after years, tactics, etc. You know what? Honestly, all good all good ones. I mean, I understand two it does get some flack with the way that, you know, you know, the leveling is presented in that, but at the same time, it's definitely not a bad game. And tactics? Mm-hmm. Indeedy and mm-hmm. Said look north of Yold. That's an indicator that it's likely a love water right there. That's also a butterfly right there.
That's likely an extra warp wing, but I don't think we need that at the moment. And we're right back to where we started, basically. Hmm. Let's head north of the... Look north of the old, so... Let's try to go back around there and let's try again. And hey, I mean, even as we speak right now, me, me and Ian are also playing Final Fantasy XIV a lot, a lot, so... And we're definitely looking forward to the, uh, to the new expansion coming out later. Dawn Trail is going to be amazing! Second ship, where are you? Although I do want that. <laughs> yeah, petite eel and Octa Reach, right there. I know for a fact Octa Reach can be uh, a bit of a pain because it does have high attack power, but otherwise, it's not that bad. Also, it can, it can use Geyser, so... I've been playing the Final Fantasy VII crossover event in Apex Legends. It's been fun using material on guns and whacking people with a buster sword. <laughs> I'll bet it is! <laughs> I'll bet that is fun. I've actually heard good things about that, uh... About that little, uh, crossover. We don't need this, uh, antidote here, I'd say. So let's grab this. We'll just use that, and... Give it to Bino. Is that blasted sunken ship? gains a level, and Rebby gains a level. Here, shippy, 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 shippy. Rather unfortunate that my memory is failing me on this one thing where I can't remember where the frickin' ship was. The funny thing is, it says it's north of Yold, but I've already looked all to the north. I hope that's not like a mistranslation or something.
Well, here's the lighthouse. I'll have to keep that in mind. Part of the sea that I've not really looked around is this side over here. Wait, I am dumb. I am misremembering. Yold wasn't the northernmost one. Yold was the very first town we actually went to here. And I forget, there's actually three towns here. I'm stupid. <laughs> I just had a stupid moment. I am sorry. <laughs> that being said, I think I'm actually heading in the right direction anyway, so... Hey, land safely. That's the case, actually. First thing starts, we need to go around this. Aha! There you are. That's the case, though, really quick. Uh, wow, there's actually nowhere to heal here, is there? Well, actually, no, there is. We're just gonna go back to Great Log for a second. Because, as I mentioned, every time we go back to Great Log, Warubu will heal us for free. Alright, thank you, Warubu. We'll also do ourselves a quick save. So we have gained a few levels since then. And equally, I guess while we're here, let me head over to the vault real quick and, uh, stuff some s store some stuff away. Deposit some stuff here. Let's see, I don't need the laurel, I don't think. Uh, we have two warp staves. So I'll put one of them away. Put away these three tiny metals. That'll make some nice room. And... 
don't need one exit bell. Seven herbs, four of those, but da 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 da. Okay, yeah, this'll do. And just to be on the safe side, just in case something bad happens. Okay, so we can only do them in increments, so the lowest increment we can do is 100, so we'll put 600 gold in there. Save that away for a rainy day. Now we'll head back. Let's go and get aboard that ship. <laughs> ah yes, the other dungeon music. <laughs> Mummified fish, yuck. Free pork chop, that's always good. That's some bad meat. Yeah. We don't want that. Warp staff is always good. How could we die before enjoying all the loot we amassed? A bone slave. These guys are little mini bosses. And they know the bang spell, which... Yeah, that hits everybody. But thankfully, they don't have that much health. And also, thankfully, once they're gone, they're gone. There's an antidote. And a love water. Always good to have some extra healing. Verzon. This guy literally has legs for his arms and his arms for his legs. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you think about it. <coughs> Wait, does that mean he also has his head for his ass and his ass for his head? Probably not something I should be thinking about. Something over here, though. Oh, they can guard each other. Okay. Gets to level 13. And what's in here? Oh! A jewel bag! Now, these guys are actually pretty notorious for being some targets in earlier parts of most Dragon Quest games because they usually drop a lot of money. An agility seed. Okay, that was definitely worth coming around here for. 
There's agility by three. Uh, Bino, you're the slowest, so let's give it to you. Now we head back and around this way. Ooh, critical hit. Oh! Okay, sure. I guess he was impressed by that crit. We will call you Null. Go ahead and head back to the farm there. Oh, hello there. The treasures are ours. No one will take them from us. Sorry, but I intend to. Ouch. 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 Nags and nags that we left our treasures behind. You guys always lead off by casting Bang. Jeez. Check the wooden crate. Huh? Check the wooden crate, you say? This one? There was a hidden staircase. Aha! Uh -huh. A repellent. Alright. And a... Oh, a world leaf. Okay, that is vitally important. And an orca cape. Alright, so... The world leaf is very important because... Yeah. That is a full revive for a monster. Very handy to have at least one or two of these on you at all times if you can possibly do so. As for repellents, well, it just prevents monsters from appearing for a short time. And unlike in Pokemon, it's not dependent on the monster's level that you have. They literally just vanish for a while. And the Orchid Cape raises resistance to water skills. We'll give that to Beano. Squiz is starting to get a little bit low, so... Should probably maybe top him off. At some point. Nothing in there. Curiosity has me. A potion. A potion is actually an MP restoring item in this game. Not that we really use MP yet, but it's still nice to have. Inversa did an odd dance step, which basically means that uh, he did something to make it so that way he is a little bit more evasive to physical attacks. As you can see, he's actually dodging attacks a little bit better. A little too good, if you ask me. Alright, so before we go in here, I'm going to use what herbs I have to see if I can't get it, everybody topped off a little. I 
We'll save the love waters for the big heals in battle. And I think, yeah, that gets everybody topped off. Cool. And there's our pirate captain. They are... Who disturbs us in our sleep? Oh! Uh, there are still fools chasing our treasures after all this time. Boys, get him! <coughs> so, this is the fight against... Captain Dead and his two Bone Slaves. Of course, we want to take care of the Bone Slaves as quickly as possible. Because that's the reason. dead yet. Okay. Uh, Squeeze, you need a heal. Okay, one's down. And two's down. Okay, that just leaves the captain. Ow! Ow! I forgot he has that ability. He has the ability Call Help, which can call for random allies a certain number of times. Alright, so what we're going to do now, uh, let's use an herb on Revy. Smack the captain a few times. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Now we're going to start planning some stuff. So, Bino, you use charge up. Squiz, what do you know? You know lure dance, but I don't think that's going to work on him, so you just hit him. Revy, you can cast Ink. Hopefully. Yes. Ow. Ow. Okay. Yeah, call help can hit for like two or three times, I think. So we gotta be a little careful with that. Bino, you hit him. Squiz, you hit him. Revy, you cast increase again. Four damage, another twenty-five. Not bad. You know, use charge up, squiz. You do that. Now we'll cast speed up. And one more increase for good measure. Except they ignored it. Oh, yeah, he also knows Aqua Cut. Okay, yeah, that puts Squiz in some slight danger. Aqua Cut does more damage to water based monsters. But thankfully, with Increase, it definitely softens the blow a little. Ow. Okay, so, correction, it can hit from once to one to three times. attack. Alright, and now we're going to use another Love Water on Squiz. Heal him up. Just keep on hitting him. There we go. Okay, that was definitely a little less scary than when we fought than when we fought Squiz earlier. 
Bino gains level 14. Refi gets to level 14 as well. Unfortunately, the captain will not join us. That's not guaranteed. And it, you know, usually when it comes to boss fights, there it's either a all or nothing chance when it comes to them. Child, we have lost. Finally, we can sleep. There are dry, shriveled fruits. May as well just check the captain's cabin real quick before we open the box. Because once we open the box, well, you'll see. Voyage log. Sunrise obscured by deep fog. Lookout reports. There is some... something. Terra check the treasure chest. Obtain the moon rock. And with the moon rock collected, the ship sinks and we make it rest in peace. Alright. So with that, let's head back to Great Log and Heal really quick. Thankfully, I do believe that is the last, like, major boss of that world. The rest of it, the rest of it we just need to basically, uh, uh, get through it. So let's do that really quick. Wait, did I just insert the Great Log key when I'm already in Great Log? I think I did. Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you get itchy fingers. <laughs> Whoops! I just hate it when that happens. Anyway. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Cute dork moment. <laughs> Damn it. And Revy stuck dancing now. And he was also blown sky high during his dance. The lighthouse is over on this side here. There we are. Hello. And now we just gotta get up to the top. Another new monster, the Eider. By itself, not too bad, although it can do some kind of status effects, if I remember correctly. But otherwise, not so bad. Snailies. These are part of the slime family. They also know Ice Bolt.
on up. Let's see. I think down here is just an item, I believe. Okay, so Eider's no heal. Good to know. Hey, Squiz got a level. As I thought, there is indeed a chest down here. And there's a log twig in there. Maybe use that later. Dead. One thing I do know about Pixies, they have very low health. <laughs> uh, which one was it? I think it was this one? Nope! Here we are. And then if we just use the Moon Rock, a magic stone that raises the tide. that, all the shoals in the water should be gone now. Which means we can roam around freely, as well as get onto this island, which is our main objective. Since we need a quick way out, let's use this. There we go. Thankfully, our main objective is right down here. Ooh, money! <laughs> Thanks for guiding me here! I figured that you would figure out where the loot was, so I tailed you! I'll take the treasures home! Looks like we're in a bit of a race now. Make this a little bit quick. Let's take a look around. Use the repellent here to keep some monsters away for a little bit. Now, which way did he go? Down there, perhaps? I think there are some items back over here. That repellent won't last forever, but at least if anything, it'll speed things up and getting past the first floor. Oh, maybe it went down here instead. Nope, not over here. Oh, Prince Kamea! Oh, there you are. Ugh! How'd you catch up? You're faster than you look. Come on, mateys, follow me! Aye, aye, sir, right behind you. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Kamea did a whoopsie. <laughs> I do not trust that. I really do not trust that. If you see a chest that of that color there, chances are that's going to be a mimic. <laughs> and mimics, especially at this point, are quite dangerous. <laughs> so I'm just going to politely decline that. <laughs> Sometimes it may not be a mimic, but more often than not, it will. Man, this repellent lot. Ah, clear the way! I'm grabbing the treasure first! Ow! Just never learns. Ah, okay, now the repellent's worn off. 
We have a Dead Knight and two Dragon Kids here. Dead Knights also know how to heal. Good to know. is a Torticon, which, if I remember correctly, has very high defense. Okay, so what that will basically do is that if we if we cast a spell at him, it will bounce back at us, but only once. And Beano's promoted to 15. So is Revy. Now, I know there's some items across this lava, but the, here's the problem. It's lava, and that's going to hurt. I'll come back here a little bit later. But I know there's stuff over there that I want. And we've made it. But it looks like Kamea made it too. <laughs> Kamea made it. I did it! The treasures are mine! All mine! Oh. Uh, uh, what? What is this? <laughs> oh. This is what it means, nincompoop. You put us through all this trouble, seeing how we needed your help to find the treasure. That you wouldn't cooperate unless we became your sidekicks. <laughs> For all that talk, you were useless. We'll take the loot for our king. You're not worthy of it anyway. Uh, you tricked me! You're not getting away with this! Uh-oh. <coughs> uh -oh. So not only does he have a very good shoulder check, but he apparently also has a... a, a really hard butt? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kamea. You really are a DBC character. I was stupid to trust and believe in those monsters. You take the loot back. Later. A voice echoed from nowhere. Alright, I gotta do Walrupa's voice again. <clears throat> well, hey! Terra, hear me? I felt an odd power stirring. You found a plug for the navel. I'll bring you back. Don't move. Well, hey! You did it, Terra! Greylog's power will heal you. There, your party's fine. So, the new plug for the Log's Naval? Well, hey, so this is it. This is the heart of Arawaru. I can feel an odd power from it. Well, hey, that's it! Great Log is saved! Good up, Waru! Nope. That ain't gonna work either. Why, well, hey, no good, no good! I have to plug the Naval again. Why, well, hey, that was no good. But Hard Mirror does have magic in it. Give me your hand, Terra. Well, hey! Well, hey! You can now crush huge boulders, Waru. You remember those big ones we saw on the world map? That's what he means. You try in front of a boulder or a tree that's in the way. Anyway, Terra, you will go look again? 
Uh, hey, I felt an odd power. Ugh, it's cold. It's an ice! You know what I'm going to say. I don't have the key, Waru. The ice key is what you want. The ice key. So, uh... <laughs> This is going to be a little bit interesting for me to say, but, um... We've passed the tutorial of the game. Yeah, <laughs> the first two worlds is what I consider the tutorial of this game. Let that sink in for a second. Uh, speaking of sinking... Does the water look higher to you? Yeah, we, um... Yeah, we're kind of... We're kind of pressed for a little bit of time here. Many trees have submerged. The island seems to be undergoing an unwelcome change. So, let's store a, let's store a couple of things we don't need away, shall we? I won't need this. Probably won't need this either. The world Leaf we're definitely holding on to. Uh, I only need one Warp Staff. Actually, here's the thing. If we have a Warp Wing, we don't really need a Warp Staff. Store that away. Store the Lob Twig away as well. And yeah, that should be fine. I want to open up a shop here, but I need help unloading my ship. I heard an army ant can carry things much bigger than itself. Yep, an army ant would be helpful. Now you see why I needed that army ant earlier? Hey! You're that kid who said the island was going to sink! I believed you and sailed off, but the island's still here! You rotten little lie master! Uh, open your frickin' eyes, did you not see the submerged trees up north? Ugh, <sighs> adults, I swear. There are some items that can be equipped by your monsters. Yeah, we already know that. Uh-oh. To take off an accessory, just put a different accessory on. Try equipping a D-scale. That will remove whatever is equipped. It's common knowledge. The woman next to me, she repeats whatever she hears from other people and acts smart. What a copycat. <laughs> Funny enough, copycat is actually the name of a monster. The castle is in an uproar because Prince Gray disappeared, yada yada yada, we know. Gotta take a look sometime. Yep. Alright, so. Terra, what was it like in the other worlds? I'd like to know. Oh, Kamea's out there too? Ah, no wonder he hasn't been around. There's a bridge over to the next island, so the farm grew a bit bigger. So what can I do for you, sis? Uh, well... Can't carry anymore. Yeah, switch with one on the farm. Uh, Revy. I just need you to stay here for a second. Gonna need Totem here. And equally... Well, we'll do the other thing in a minute here. Uh, does Mom need any errands? Oh, you'll run another errand? Yes! My, what has gotten into you? Well, miracles never cease. Could you go buy a potion for me? Father's run down from overwork. Why buy a potion when we have a freebie? <laughs> so that's basically just an easy 400 gold in our pocket right there. Oh, hi, you're new. Master only makes me charge. It made me more courageous. Putting up a bridge is easy. We get more and more stubborn as we grow to higher levels. Our personalities don't change much once we get old. <laughs> Beaver and help put up the bridge. It's a solid piece of work, this. An underground stable is next. Or at least if I can get help. Have you seen any mad gophers? Yes! I'd like to get help for digging. Could you befriend a mad gopher? 
That is exactly why we needed one of them. Uh, Squiz, you stay here for a second, if you would. And now we just need you. Alright, let's go give the Mad Gopher over to our father. A Mad Gopher joined you? Could you pass it over to me? Sure. Great, Tara. Thanks a lot. This will make the farm more useful. Okay, let me dig. One, two, one, two. Huh? I just hit something hard. What's wrong, Mad Gopher? Did you dig something up? Oh, hey, that's a tiny metal. Good going, Mad Gopher. Here, Tara, you hold on to it. Thanks, Dad. Be careful when you're traveling with other worlds. All right, let's get Squids back on the team. And now let's go give that other guy this army ant. Wait, could I get you to leave your army ant with me? Yes. Fantastic! I can open my shop now! <laughs> huh? There's something here. Under the merchandise. What's that? Hey! A magic key! How did you manage to find that? Yeah, I'd like you to have this. Sort of a thanks for Army Ant. And there's the ice key. You can see it's a very nice key. I'll pray for your safety. Take good care of yourself. Now, here's the thing. We could just immediately go into the ice world, but... The problem is, like I said, the tutorial is over. Let me just... Let me just get, uh, where are you? There you are, Revy. Let me just get Revy back. <laughs> nice key, I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, come on, it's Dragon Quest. Like, Dragon Quest is well known for being very punny. Of course, this was before they went full-on putty with it, but yeah. Do you know about Log Twigs? It's an item that lets you move a magic door shrine as you wish. It used to be sold here, but... In other worlds, you meet other travelers like yourself. They're not all bad people, but there are some you need to watch. Alio. Oh no, this guy's trapped over here. Huh? Has the sea risen? Oh well. I'm a good swimmer. So like I said, the tutorial of the game is basically over. Which means we are going to need to step up our game. And there's only one way to do so. And that's in here. The evaluator said I had an amazing egg, but I stumbled on the stairs and almost broke it. You klutz. Go down these stairs to the Starry Shrine. Monster skills are passed on from parents to their offspring. Retain the skills you like on your monsters and keep breeding them. Eventually, you'll have monsters that possess the moves you like best. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Starry Shrine. What I consider the epicenter of this entire game. Let's talk to the rest of these people first before I get into an explanation. Parents pass on abilities to their children, who in turn pass on their abilities to their own offspring. Saying goodbye is never easy, but that is the cycle of life. If you breed, the parents go away somewhere, and their baby hatches at just level one. But the baby will grow to surpass its parents if you raise it. Greylog's Starry Shrine wasn't in use for a long time. But research into breeding shed new light on its great potential. Now the shrine is considered to be an indispensable place for masters. And equally, if I remember correctly... Now that we can break rocks... Hey, look at that! Shortcut! So... 
Allow me a very brief little uh, synopsis of what monster braiding is in this game. Basically, you can take any two monsters, one male and one female, and you can breed them together to create a brand new monster. It's really honestly that simple. Unlike in Pokemon, there are no like actual like egg groups or anything like that to basically, you know, complicate things or anything like that. And also passing down, you know, abilities and skills and all that stuff is also far more streamlined than any Pokemon game I've played I've ever played. The main catch with this is that there are well there is one other little requirement for monsters to breed. They both need to at least be at level 10. The only other downside to breeding is that the two monsters that you use to breed will go away forever leaving only the child and basically leaving you to raise them. So, you need to think very carefully about what monsters you want to use. This does mean that you will need to level them up all the way from level 1, as that priest over there said, but they will grow to surpass the parents if you take the time to raise them, and they will definitely be a lot better off than just monsters you will find generally out in the wild. So, the thing is, this is basically the key core component of this entire game. You need to actually breed what you consider the best monsters you could possibly do so. Which means you also need to catch a lot of monsters to get going on this. I won't be doing any breeding just yet. I actually want to uh, go out and actually capture some monsters off screen, so that way we actually have some options. But next time when I actually do stream this, then that's when we'll go through the process of breeding and, you know, maybe start going for some of the monsters that we, uh, that we want to try to go for now. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we still can't go up here. Yeah, we still can't go up here yet. So with that being said, I think it is time to stop the stream for right now. So I'm just going to do a quick save here. And with that, let me just uh, do the quick little transition there. So with that all pretty much said and done, I'm going to end the stream here. Let us see if there is anybody else I know streaming at the moment. Oh. No, I actually already... I think I actually already see who we're going to... To, 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 uh, to head off to. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to set a raid for this person. We are going to raid Midnight's in Valhalla. Midnight is a very awesome awesome streamer on here. They are absolutely amazing. They are very fun to talk with, and they play quite a quite a good variety of games. I would very much recommend following them when we get over there. Until then, uh, for everybody who came here, I just want to say thank you. I really hope I can actually get more into streaming a lot more often. And, you know what? I will be back tomorrow. Because I... Well, no. Scratch that. Not tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be back on Saturday, actually. Around 5 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, as of the recording of this, I will be, actually be doing my very first playthrough of Owlboy. So, uh, look forward to that, and... Yeah. Once again, thank you all for watching. Go and enjoy Midnight's in Valhalla. And, uh... Yeah. Have a great time. See you all then. Bye.